It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? Lucky there's a family guy. Lucky there's a man who positively can do all the things that make us laugh and cry. He's our family guy. And this family guy has a very dangerous pipeline that is very easy to fall down. The Family Guy TikTok Pipeline. All it takes is one little Family Guy TikTok with some Subway Surfers gameplay underneath to completely turn all that you see to Family Guy. But why is this? Why have these Family Guy TikToks become so popular? Let's dive into it. Family Guy was created by Seth MacFarlane. He pitched it to Fox and it would begin to air in 1998. The show was immediately met with controversy, as the show can be more mature and make jokes that some people might find offensive. This would prompt Fox to cancel the show just after three seasons. But in 2005, Family Guy was brought back and has been airing ever since. There are currently 402 episodes of Family Guy, with more to come in the future. Family Guy is one of the most well-known shows in the United States and around the world. Everyone knows Family Guy. And why do they know Family Guy? What really makes this show stand out? It's the characters. Everyone loves the main cast of Family Guy characters. Family Guy uses a floating timeline, meaning that it's assumed that the episodes take place around the same time as which they air. The characters don't really ever age, and what happens from episode to episode really has no effect on the show. There's no overarching story, it's just what shenanigans are Peter and everyone else going to get into this week. The characters are what everyone cares about when watching Family Guy. And what would be Family Guy without the Family Guy himself? Peter Griffin. Peter is a dumb, immature, clumsy father voiced by Seth MacFarlane. He's a middle class, Irish American, blue collar worker who is always getting into shenanigans with his friends or family. While the alcoholic Peter Griffin is usually well-intentioned, most of the time he causes lots of problems for the people of Quahog, Rhode Island. In one episode, it is revealed that Peter has an IQ of around 70, which is in the bottom 2% of all Americans. It has been noted that Peter might have damage to Wernick's area, which is an area of the brain associated with language comprehension. He has also been seen to be very easily manipulated and impulsive, which causes many problems for his wife. Lois Griffin is the wife of Peter Griffin and is often portrayed as a stereotypical American housewife. She was born into a very affluent family, but she is a lot more than that. In early episodes, she was seen as a piano teacher, which makes sense why she's playing piano in the opening theme song. She is voiced by Alex Borstein and like her husband, has a Bostonian accent. While Lois is often the voice of reason for Peter, she has a multitude of her own problems. She's a recovering meth addict and a severe kleptomaniac. Lois also has three kids. The oldest of these three kids is Mae Griffin, voiced by Mila Kunis. The family punching bag, or more specifically, the Peter and Lois punching bag. And because of the constant abuse from her parents, Meg has become very insecure and self-conscious. She's often portrayed as a pushover and an unpopular high schooler. A lot of the time, plots centered around Meg see her struggling to find a boyfriend, which is usually met with little or no success. The sad thing is, is that Meg has more talent and potential than her family realizes, and could easily be the most successful of them all. One who will probably not be as successful as Meg is her brother. Chris Griffin is the middle child of the Griffin family, and you can basically sum him up as a younger version of Peter. The character, voiced by Seth Green, has a lot of similarities to his father. For example, he also displays a complete lack of common sense and is also willing to go to extreme measures 
to get whatever he wants. But he does have some strengths that his father does not have. One of these being that he is able to learn much faster than Peter is. Also unlike his father, Chris actually cares about his sister, Meg. They get along fairly well most of the time, and he is the only one who shows outward appreciation of her. Chris is also constantly tormented by an evil monkey that lives in his closet. It is later revealed that this monkey is not evil at all, and Chris and the monkey become friends. Another of Chris's friends is his little brother. Stewie Griffin is the youngest of the Griffin family. While only being a toddler, voiced by Seth MacFarlane, Stewie is easily the smartest member of the Griffin family. Stewie shows immense amounts of intelligence in physics and engineering. At first, Stewie was portrayed as more of a sociopath, but the creators of the show decided to tone down that part of him. Now Stewie is a flamboyant, eccentric bisexual. How can a toddler have any sense of sexuality? I have no idea. I don't even think most toddlers could comprehend what sexuality is. But Stewie is no ordinary toddler. Stewie can talk, and he even speaks in a British accent. McFarland said in an interview that most people can understand what Stewie is saying, it's just that most people choose to either ignore him or just think that it is cute that a toddler can talk. Stewie only considers himself to have two friends, his brother Chris and his talking dog. Brian Griffin is the talking bipedal dog of the Griffin family. Seth MacFarlane also voices this smug dog, who is really the only sane one in the Griffin family. Brian is a struggling writer who just can't seem to find himself. He tries to write anything he can, but he just can't get anything to work. This may lead to the frequent alcoholism displayed by Brian. While Stewie is the smartest of the Griffins, Brian easily takes second place. Brian was able to obtain a college level education as he attended Brown. Brian also considers himself to be a political liberal. A lot of the time, Brian is trying to seek out love as he considers himself a romantic. But Brian does not have much success. But you know who does? Glenn Quagmire is a neighbor to the Griffins. And you'll never believe this. He is also voiced by Seth MacFarlane. Quagmire's character is pretty simple. He's just a sex-crazed airline pilot. Quagmire has attempted to sleep with about everyone in the show at least once or twice. He suffers from hypersexuality, so he can never get enough, he just always craves more. Quagmire is probably most known for his catchphrase, Giggity. He can often be found hanging out with his friends at the Drunken Clam. Joe Swanson is one of these friends. Joe is a paraplegic police officer voiced by Patrick Warburton. Joe's main problems come from his anger issues. As Joe is definitely the strongest of all the main characters in Family Guy, he is often seen beating up his friends. While he seems to really only beat up Peter, Joe does have some other friends. Cleveland Brown is the last major character in the show. People liked him so much that he even got his own show titled The Cleveland Show, where of course he was the main character. Cleveland is normally gentle and sweet, and is often the voice of reason for the rest of the game. We often see Peter's shenanigans destroy Cleveland's wall, revealing Cleveland sitting in his bathtub. Cleveland was voiced by Mike Henry until 2020 when he decided to step down. Henry believed that the characters of color should be voiced by people of color, so now Cleveland is voiced by Afir Zahir. All of these characters have become so popular and recognizable that almost everyone knows who they are. It's because of these characters that Family Guy is so popular, and it is also a reason why Family Guy is so popular on TikTok. Imagine this. You're scrolling through your TikTok, and you see Peter Griffin, Brian, Cleveland, 
Meg, or any other of the characters. You recognize them from Family Guy. That catches your attention. That gets you to watch the TikTok. And that is only the first step of the Family Guy TikTok pipeline. Family Guy was able to take over TikTok so easily because Family Guy has always had a large relevance in meme culture. Ever since Family Guy has been on the air, memes have been made from it. The controversial nature of the show, the classic one-liners, allowed for Family Guy memes to spread like wildfire. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remember when Family Guy wasn't completely dominant over meme culture? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Pepperidge Farm remembers is a meme used to remember the glory days and is one of the oldest Family Guy memes. Thanks, Tom. You know what really grinds my gears? You know what really grinds my gears? When people don't know where the Family Guy memes come from. This meme comes from a direct-to-DVD movie, Family Guy Presents Stewie Griffin, The Untold Story. In this movie, Peter hosts a new segment where he lets everyone know what grinds his gears. You know what really grinds Peter's gears? Lindsay Lohan, people from 19th century, and not enough news coverage of priests and rabbis. A clip of Peter hurting his knee has become popular in meme culture. Peter falls down, hurts his knee, and then moans in pain. These moans have been replaced with many other sounds to create an ever-expanding meme template. There have also been some surrealistic Family Guy memes, including Hey Peter, which parodies Joe Swanson saying Hey Peter in the show. Imagine this. It's boys night. The boys have taken to the couch. YouTube is on the TV. What do you watch? Family Guy Funny Moments, of course. Family Guy Funny Moments consist of short clips from the show and a multitude of cutaway jokes. And these are all put together for the maximum amount of humor. Do atheists go to hell? No. What about people who are not subscribed to Jack Rock's Productions? Straight to hell. To the boiler room of hell. This meme template has become very popular as any group of people someone doesn't like can be inserted into it. It's really easy to do, which allowed for this meme to spread rapidly. Another easily replaceable format is Meg saying, You guys always act like you're better than me. The camera then cuts to Peter, Lois, and Chris, all dressed up super formal. You can basically put anything you think is better than something else into this format. Brian, look out! Brian, look out became so popular because of the controversy surrounding the episode. In the episode, titled Life of Brian, Brian is struck and killed by a car. This caused a lot of controversy, and Brian would return just a few episodes later. But this was still enough to cause Brian Lookout to be permanently ingrained in meme culture. Hey guys, Peter Griffin here to explain the joke. You see, this joke is a reference to how the show often explains their jokes. People on the internet will also add Peter to memes to explain the joke because everything is funnier when it is explained by Peter Griffin. <laughs> PETA Lois saying Peter has become a meme itself, as it has been repeated many times all over the internet. Peter, the horse is here. Peter, the horse is here. Is another clip that has been shared around the internet many times, with slight variations being made each time it is posted. The Family Guy effect itself has become a meme. The Family Guy effect is the idea that something appears on Family Guy 
and this causes a rapid increase in the popularity of it before it quickly fades into irrelevance. Dancing, walking, rearranging furniture. Babs is shopping. I let the bird out of the cage. The most recent Family Guy meme to become popular is dancing, walking, rearranging furniture. The clip from the show features Lois's father singing, dancing, walking, rearranging furniture. Babs is shopping. I let the bird out of the cage. He sings this to the tune of Virtual Insanity by Hamir O... Come, uh, Hamir O... Kwai? Jamir I have no idea how to say that. Um, it's on the screen. You guys can read it. But countless edits of this cutaway gag have been spread all over the internet. These memes are spread all over TikTok as well, which only increases the amount of Family Guy content on the platform. This increases views and engagement related to Family Guy, which only makes the Family Guy TikTok pipeline easier to fall down. TikTok itself is designed in a way that makes it easier to fall down this pipeline. TikTok wants you to stay on the app for as long as possible, and they have many ways of doing this. TikTok provides constant quick content, and the algorithm is designed really well. It's designed so well that according to TikTok, users spend an average of 90 minutes a day on the app. The algorithm learns what an individual user likes to see, so that TikTok can keep showing them content that you are more likely to enjoy. All it really takes is just one Family Guy TikTok. You don't even have to like it. All it takes is one, and all of a sudden, you feel like you're seeing Family Guy everywhere you look. Family Guy, as a show, works really well for TikTok. There are over 400 episodes of the show, with each having roughly 10 cutaway gags that last around 30 seconds. If you add that all up, that's roughly 4,000 cutaway jokes, or 4,000 different TikToks. The strange thing is, is that these Family Guy clips are accompanied with something else. The top half of the screen is Family Guy, but the bottom half is some mobile game. It turns out that this started as just a way to avoid copyright takedowns, but it has evolved into much more. These types of videos started getting a lot of views and being promoted by the TikTok algorithm. These games being played under the Family Guy clips are usually something like Subway Surfers or some other free mobile game you can find in the App Store. I believe that there is a psychological reason for why these videos are doing so well. And speaking of psychology, you know what that means. Welcome to Science Time with Jack! Welcome back to Science Time with Jack. I'm Jack, and today we're going to be learning about the study of the mind and behavior, also known as psychology. I think there is a psychological component to why these Family Guy TikToks with mobile game footage are doing so well. The gameplay of these games is always very simple, and people tend to like simple things. We like simple things because they are easy on our brain and easy for us to predict. Basically, we don't have to use a lot of brain power to process these games. The simple gameplay minimizes the cognitive load on our brains and allows for us to kind of just zone out and just watch this gameplay. Today, we are becoming more and more reliant on constant information and stimulation. Our attention spans seem shorter than ever and social media plays a large role in this. These Family Guy TikToks allow for two sources of stimulation at once. When you get bored with one, you just watch the other. This increases the amount of time people spend watching them, which allows them for TikTok to recommend them more. Well, this has been Science Time with Jack. Let's get you back to the end of the video. Many people, including myself, have fallen down the Family Guy TikTok pipeline, but I'm afraid that things are only getting worse. It's not just Family Guy clips anymore. You'll see whole episodes uploaded in one minute long clips. It's even spread to other shows similar to Family Guy. The Simpsons, American Dad, 
Rick and Morty, South Park, and so many others. You can't go on TikTok without seeing them. The discrepancy between these shows and mobile games is starting to fade. We're becoming complacent with these ideas, and if we don't start to stand up, the way we consume media could forever change. Schlatt? Hello, Peter.